Okay, so we have we here we have the PCB copper side, other side. Stick some double-sided tape on. Like this and now. I have a thin piece of cardboard on here, so that if uh, the um, the V bit goes too deep, it will not damage the uh, aluminium. So we stick it down here. Right. So I have gobble control started, and uh, you can see the. The CNC router, uh, cheap Banggood 3018 CNC router for routing PCBs, and I'm going to explain how to use the height map uh, of the uh, router. The height map is a system to compensate for uh, the wobbling of the PCB. So if it's a little bit higher here and a little bit lower there, then this system can compensate for that in order to have uh, good PCB results. Uh, so first thing uh, we have to do is um, position the, um, the, the V bit somewhere in the middle of the PCB. So uh, we're going to use uh, these buttons for this purpose. Uh, put them, putting them in 10 millimeter mode now, and I'm going to move. To the middle of the PCB approximately the middle this doesn't have to be exact well that's too far to the left so I'll go back a little bit five more millimeters to the so now I'm in the middle of the PCB um, and I'm going to go down now with this button uh, so um, what I do is I take a piece of paper this piece of paper and I put it between the PCB and the bits and I can see clearly see the shadow of the bit on the piece of paper and um, I put it in one millimeter mode and move it gently down until it almost touches which is now and I switch to 0 0.1 millimeter mode and go down and in the meantime while I do that I move this piece of paper until it gets stuck between the bits and the PCB. Which is now. It, it, it's just stuck. I can pull it out, but it's stuck. At this point, press this button, the zero button, zero Z. So uh, what you will see is here, it says minus 6.7 now. That'll change to 0, 0.0. The, the bit and the shadow. That's why we have this harsh lighting, so we can see the shadow very sharp. And I'm going down one millimeter at a time. Until I'm about here. Then I put it in. 0 0.1 millimeter and uh, move this piece of paper and steadily go down by 0 0.1 millimeter until I cannot move the piece of paper anymore which happens now it's stuck this is my zero point after this I move up five millimeters Remove the piece of paper. Now I'm going to do the X and Y zero wing. So I use these buttons to go to the um, f uh, far right most. And um, well, you'll see where I move. Press. Press until you're at the edge, 
using five millimeters at the time now. I can move down a bit, but do it until you have, say, oh, we've gone too far now, one millimeter above the surface, so you can very well see the uh, the corner. Um, don't move beyond the edge of the PCB. Leave one millimeter on both sides. I'll explain that later. So that's done now, and now I can press this zero X Y button. Now what I do is uh, load the file, so you can go to open or use recent files and open the PCB design, um, and then. This is a PCB design that I made for a power supply. What you do now is here it says height map, and you say create height map. Then this is a whole lot of NANs, which means not a number. And the idea is that in all these fields, numbers will be filled in. Um, we'll see that happen uh, in a few minutes. And these numbers are the, the height of the PCB. Uh, level. So what we have to do is uh, fit this this uh, red rectangle we have to make it approximately the size of the PCB design. So what you have to know is that this point is 0, 0.0. These are x values towards negative. So this is m x is minus 50 and the y values go in the positive direction. Why are the x values negative? Because this is the copper side of the PCB. And um, if you would flip the PCB over to see the component side, then the X would go to the to the right, and that would be positive. Um, so uh, if this is zero zero, then all these values go to into the negative. So um, I have to make this X value. This X value determines where this red line will be. So I guess it's got to be something like minus 100. Yeah, that looks good. Now this line is here. This value here is the width. That's the distance between this line and this line. That has to be 102. So you see this line is good, that line is good. This line is also good. There's a little bit here beyond that line, but that doesn't matter. And this line has to go up a little bit, which is this y value here, which should be something like 7t. 70 is not enough, obviously. Let's say 80. 80 is fine. Then what you do is um, fill in these values here. Um, X and Y. This is the number of uh, uh, intermediate points that will be um, that will be measured, will be probed. So uh, 8 by 8, which means there will be 8 probe points in this direction and 8 in that direction, which gives a total of 64 points, which takes, which is very good if you're really designing a PCB. But now I'm only making YouTube film, so I'm going to fill in a little bit smaller values. Uh, let's say 3 by 4. Um, so this means there will be one line here in between and two other lines here in between. You'll see that in a few seconds. These values are also very important. The ZT is the top value of the Z, so that's the vertical coordinate. That has to be a few millimeters above the, above, uh, the PCB. Um, so normally two millimeters is fine. Router bit will go up when he's moving to the next point. Two millimeters is fine. This has to be a negative value. This is the maximum amount that the probe will go below the surface of the PCB. So don't put minus 10 in here because if something goes wrong and he does not detect the PCB, then he will go until he will go 10 millimeters into the PCB, which is not good for the PCB, but it's also not good for the uh, router bit. So normally you would leave that minus Point thirty. That's that's fine. Interpolation grid X and Y. I will explain that later at the end of the video. 
Um, so you have everything set, you have the set coordinate good, you have um, X and Y coordinates good. Uh, so we can now press probe and um, watch the uh, video in the, in, the, in, the, in the corner here. So now he did a probe at this point, but I don't know why he does this. That's just for fun, I guess, because he's going to start here. This is the first real probe. So it's going down very gently until the probe touches the PCB and a, a circuit is uh, made. So now you see that a value is filled in here and that is the uh, the height of this point of the PCB. So this point is uh, uh, 0 0.035 millimeters below the official zero point. And you see different values appearing here. Um, I have to explain, while the video is running, I have to explain a few things. First of all, make sure that your PCB is clean. It doesn't have to be super clean, but there should be absolutely no debris, no chips, no pieces of uh, copper, because that will all disturb your measurements. Also the, the drill bit, the, not the drill bit, the V score bit has to be clean, otherwise it'll distort your measurement. Um, then second, you can see that I have attached this wire here to the PCB um, and that goes to the to the control board of the of the router. There's this yellow wire here that is attached to the motor case and that goes also to um, uh, one of the pins on the uh, control board. Uh, I'll, I'll show a photograph And also don't make the rectangle too large. So if you would extend it, say, a centimeter beyond the PCB design, then you have to make sure that there's copper, that there is a PCB down there, otherwise the, the probe will fail, but it will go down until minus 0.30 and then give up. So now he's really probing. So it's doing the last measurement point now. So, job done. Perfect. So what you see now is that um, he's done all the measurements and now this fine grid has come over it. That's the meaning of the X and Y that sits here. This X15 determines the number of lines here so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen lines here and this y15 here that is that determines the number of lines in this direction and um i guess i'm not sure but i think this is used to um uh, to uh, adjust the movements that are in the uh, in the in the file in the design, and they're going to be split up in sections maximum this length. Uh, I think that is the meaning of these numbers here. So normally you would put, I guess, a number that is maybe twice as high as the number x in here, and this y should be twice as high as that or so but i'm not sure i haven't designed this software i'm only using it so next thing we're going to do is um, check the numbers here in the grid if the numbers are all reasonable i have had it that all these numbers here that are between zero and minus well 
minus 0 0.2 207 that sounds reasonable to me all these numbers are in this range this is almost zero here I have had it that there was a small chip of copper or something or something went wrong and there was suddenly a one in there one millimeter or a really strange value if that happens then you have to either uh, research the cause and do it all over again or remove that value and change it into a value that you think is reasonable if, you, if you're in a hurry so you can just click on a number here and uh, if you say uh, I want to change this then you can just make it into a different number you can do that so now we've done that we're still we're now in edit mode the height map edit which is indicated by uh, this button uh, and what we do now is leave edit mode by pressing the edit mode button and say use height map here that's important um, and what happens is that um, the instructions that are in here are now corrected for the height map uh, so now it's 14,000 lines here without height map there's 13,000 lines and that is because some of these commands have been broken up in uh, multiple commands so we have to put this on um, and now you can um, uh, you can press send here and, s and send will send this design to the router and it, it will uh, make your uh, PCB this is what happens when something goes wrong um, so he was doing all these passes through all these points and this point um, probing went wrong and why did it wrong you can see it on the uh, the camera image because I put the alligator clip here at this point and it touched the alligator clip pull the USB plug push it back in again then everything comes back thank you for watching and bye